Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Fawad and I am a cloud support engineer. In this video, I will show you how to troubleshoot the network latency related issues with your Alibaba Cloud ECS instance. The methods explained in this video can be used to troubleshoot network latency issues between any two devices, but I will be using AliCloud ECS instance for the demonstration purpose. Okay, let's suppose that you have a website served by an ECS instance located in USA region. And while accessing your website, you realize that web page loading speed is very low, leading to poor web user experience. Another case can be that you are accessing your ECS instance using an SSH client and the connection speed is very poor or intermittent disconnections are occurring. One cause of this issue is network latency. Public network is not always stable. Sometimes due to a malfunctioning node on the link or network congestion due to high traffic time, the network nodes may start to drop packets leading to high network latency. Let's troubleshoot such kind of issues. First of all, we need to make sure that our ECS instance is working fine. To check that, let's use our Alibaba Cloud ECS Management Console and log into the ECS instance using VNC. For that, I have to go to Console, Elastic Compute Service. instances and let's move to the USA region where the instance is located so I am using this instance let's click on the instance and click connect to, to connect this instance using VNC this is my VNC password let's copy it and close paste the VNC password and now we are connected to our instance using VNC the username should be root and we enter the password the connection is successful here we, we will check that our services are running as normal. Since I was troubleshooting an SSH connection, I will check if the SSH daemon is listening on port 22. For that, I will issue command netstat-ntlp and I can see that the sshd daemon is listening on all the IP addresses who are trying to access this instance on port 22. So this means that our SSH service has no problem. So probably the issue is lying on the network side and it can be due to network latency. To check that, I have to use my terminal. For Mac, you can use the terminal. Here I will first ping the public IP address of this ECS instance. The public IP address can be seen here. Let's ping it. And we can see that each packet has its own round trip time. A total of 11 packets were transmitted and all of them were received back and the total round trip time found was 177 millisecond. So if you are seeing uh, some packet drop then the total number of packet received will not be equal to the packet transmitted. That is an indication of network packet loss. Another indication can be seen here 
uh, if there is intermittent packet loss you will see uh, some packets giving you timeout for example at this uh, fourth packet you will see a timeout given here that is an indication of network packet loss if you see this then move on to the next step to see w at which link of the network we, we are facing network packet loss if you are on windows you can just go to com uh, command prompt and enter the command ping space the IP address and you will see the similar information as you are seeing on this screen next you uh, we need to check the network latency on each link for that we will use MTR tool let's first install MTR on our Mac you can install it using brew install MTR command once you run this command brew will install the MTR tool and make it accessible to you since I have already installed MTR I will not run this command to check the latency I would make this window a little bigger okay let's run command sudo mtr and the IP address of our instance hit enter it asks for the password of my Mac and here I can see all the links that come in between my Mac and the ECS instance in the USA let me tell you that I am accessing uh, I'm performing this test from Beijing China so from my local network IP to the instance IP I can see all the links and on the under this column I can see the network loss happening if you see such kind of network loss like you may, may think that 66% or 65% of network packets are being dropped then this is this indication is not true because in the service provider end some of the devices are configured to drop ICMP packets that the MTR command is using to check the loss so maybe the device with the IP61 5116980 is configured to drop nearly 60% of all the ICMP packets. Let's move on. Here you are seeing 2.4%. This is also not a right indication of packet loss. But if you are seeing two adjacent packet loss, two adjacent links dropping packets like this, 2.1 and 1.1 together, this may be an indication of real packet loss happening so over this link we can say that nearly 2% of the packets are being dropped and if you are seeing 1.8% loss on the last hop that is our own IP address then this is also an indication of network packet loss let's take a screenshot of this page And stop the MTR command okay now we need to check the MTR from the ECS instance to our public IP for that we will see what is our Mac uh, public IP address for that I will go to what is my IP address dot com and it says that my public IP address is this let's copy this and go to our VNC
from here okay I forgot the VNC password so let's first reset it let's set it to one two three four five six hit enter and let's retry okay now the login is successful here we can run mtr since this is Linux it may have MTR already installed or you can install it using sudo apt get install MTR in the command yum install MTR press yes and MTR is being downloaded and installed now we can copy our public IP address of the Mac and run the MTR IP address our IP address is 221216 MTR 221 216 five six dot one six five four dot one six <clears throat> let's hit enter and here we can see all the network links the information available here about the loss is same as I have explained before let's take another screenshot for the reference okay if you are seeing network loss on these links then you can uh, first of all you can check if the network loss is happening on your side for example for my Mac if I am seeing some packet loss near my my Mac Mac then I can I need to contact my service provider to see why the network loss is happening over here but since there is no network loss here so I do not need to contact my ISP but if you see some network loss in the middle or at the end of this chain then you need to contact Alibaba cloud technical support for that you can create a ticket in the console like this this is the console page on the top support open a new ticket and here in this ticket you need to provide provide the information that you have collected that information include your public IP address here, like this and the two screenshots that you have taken one from your Mac, address, Mac PC to the ECS instance and the second one is from the ECS instance to your Mac IP address provide these three pieces of information in the support ticket and the support engineer will help you find and resolve this issue if you are using Windows instead of Mac then you can install the MTR tool on Windows as well for this please search MTR installer on Google or Bing search engine and you will see how to install Windows MTR this link let's click on this link and from 
download MTR now, you can download the MTR tool. By clicking on this link, it will lead you to the download page and you can install the Windows MTR tool. I have already downloaded the tool. Let's install it. We need to extract okay now let's install the 64-bit version by clicking this .exe file you can directly run the MTR tool here you can enter the ECS instance IP to see the latency. Here you can enter the ECS public IP to check the latency. Let's click start and Windows MTR has initiated the route analysis. I hope this has been informative. Thank you very much for watching.